The German government has set an ambitious goal. In the near future, it wants to see 15% of the country's electric power needs met with wind farms in the North and Baltic seas. Offshore transformer stations the size of oil platforms will have to be built on land. They connect the wind turbines to the power grid. Tim Awakerk is overseeing construction work at a dockyard in Visma. The job has to be finished in just a few months. Offshore transformer stations work just like regular substations, except they're out at sea. The technology is new in Germany. We've got oil platforms and bridges offshore. We build all kinds of things far out at sea. But what we don't have out there yet is a clean room atmosphere. That's because these high tension power lines can experience flashovers that can be caused by even the tiniest speck of dust and can lead to disastrous consequences. So purely for safety reasons, we need this guaranteed clean room technology. Twelve of these high voltage transformers will eventually produce 300,000 volts of electric power, a potentially lethal force. They're sealed inside airtight rooms to protect the sensitive electronics from the salty seawater. This is the lower converter hall. Later in this space, we'll have the high capacity electronics equipment that transforms the alternating current coming from the wind turbines into direct current. There will be 12 separate towers standing here on these foundations. And that will be their job. Hans Otto Schmiedeback has been working at the shipyards for 25 years now. He used to plan and build container ships, but these days China and South Korea produce them cheaper. Now Nordic Yard specializes in icebreakers and ships for the oil industry. The offshore transformer stations are a welcome addition to the shipyard's business. Building container ships is over for us. There is no demand anywhere in the world for container ships from Germany's yards. We've been forced to look for contracts from other sources to make up for the shortfall. So this is completely new for us. We're very happy to have these first two orders. And of course we'll gain lots of experience from them. And I'm sure they won't be the last of this kind for us. The contractor stops by about once a week. The tenant grid operator is in charge of getting the North Sea wind farms online and wants to see the platforms finished as quickly as possible. But the new technology is complex and more expensive than planned. One platform costs about 200 million euros. This is an entirely new kind of project for us and for Siemens in general, for anyone in the field. So we have an obligation to make sure that when the wind farm generates power, the power reaches land and the consumers get their electricity from these wind farms. The first offshore platform is slated to go online in early 2013 off Heligoland. The six supporting columns are to be assembled on board ships, making the platform easier to take out to sea.